I'm really hoping my mic works. I never checked that. Shit. You may or may not hearing <laughs> be hearing post commentary right now. Oh, this might be the lost recording. So, even though I probably have like 50 some odd part part parts left in this LP, what LP would you guys like to see me do next? If you guys are fortunate enough to get an LP after this. Oh yeah. Um, I know I don't say this ever, but uh, if you guys would be awesome enough to like, comment, or subscribe, or to dig it, that's how I'm gonna start saying it. Dig it. <laughs> That'd be very, very nice. I know I don't really do these videos for views or anything like that, but I really like to see people comment because it makes me. I just like seeing people comment, and being able to reply to comments because I would reply to 90% of the comments. Ugh. Oh, now I was gonna remember. Someone, there was a comment that really pissed me off, and I'm sorry that if you're watching this video right now, but your comment really pissed me off. Uh, someone left a comment on one of my uh, videos saying, "It sounds like you have a gaming addiction. Get a life." And that was the entire comment right there. And I'm like, "Are you shitting me?" Like it really made me angry. And so I looked at his, uh, so I clicked on it. And I'm like, "Does this guy make videos too?" I clicked on his channel and it had his recent activity. And his recent activity was him commenting like on the last, like his last five comments were all on my videos. So like, he was like, he, he still liked watching my videos because he had watched like five of them. But then he comments that I need to get a life. <laughs> that really pissed me off. Uh, and then I'm like, uh, I, I left angry comment. That's like the only time I've ever left like a negative comment towards somebody. I was just so angry about that. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, granted, I'm a huge nerd. I'm a super, super nerd, you know. But I do have a life, sadly enough. Uh, my life actually prevents me from uploading as much as I like to or making these as great as quality as they could be. Um, so, I mean, I do have a life. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys wish I was just some 13-year-old boy made this videos because he's never talked to a girl before. I don't know where I'm going with this rant. But sadly, yes, I do have a life. Not a great one. Actually, I, I do like my life. Fair enough. Best of luck. Best life a nerd could have. And you know what? Screw it. We're being weak. Damn fairy. Went through all that trouble earlier just to not use the one to true it, and we had to use it here. Uh, yeah, but that comment really ag aggravated me for some reason. I, I, I remember I said something mean back, I forgot what I said. Oh, and another people, uh, person whose comment really, really angered me. Uh, not a person's comment, even though I guess a, permit, a person did have to leave this. But, uh, for anyone who makes videos, uh, have you ever been bothered by the people who do sub for sub? Like, I hate them so much now, like, because, like, they will le spam you so badly now, like, at least they do for me. They just leave messages. And, like, then they'll, like, they'll, like, try to be all personal about it, and then you look down and see who they all sent it to, and they send it to, like, 50 other people. Oh, that's driving me nuts. So, like, I left one, just, like, cursing one out one day, and, like, I might go back and find it and read it and make, post a video for it. Because, like, like someone was like, what a beautiful day, and I was like, it was a terrible day. And I just went off on this poor guy who had to read that video. I don't know. It was, I promise it was funnier than, way, than what I make it sound. Alright, so... What's the point of all that? Whoops. Anyway, better way to get through these uh, walls right here instead of just using a bunch of fire arrows or punching. Punch the first one out so you don't move. And then power up your roll. Awesome. Hmm. I'm trying to think of it. 
the smart way to get across here. Oh, do it. We have to go on roll first before. We no, we don't want to go down the staircase. Ugh. So I have a new idea for my videos, but I don't know if you guys will like it or not. Um, but I'm thinking about doing this, and I want everyone now, even if you're not very fond of leaving comments, to let me know what you guys think of this. I found a Macho Man Randy Savage soundboard online, and I just think it's the funniest thing I've ever heard or have seen or any like. This is the funny. It totally made my week. It was the funniest thing I had seen in a long time. So if you guys would like me to start posting uh, Macho Man Randy Savage uh, sound bites into my videos, let me know. Uh, <laughs> it'll be like I always have a guest commentator, so it'll be me and Macho Man. Oh, now we got this guy. And I swear to you guys, the sword is the best way to fight this guy. And my previously lost recordings of this fight, the sword went much better. Jump slash, take him out twice as fast. Oh. There we go. Alright, he's always going to be right there. So I might be able to hold him down. Wait. Oh wait, no, he's over here. Ah, no. I need to stop watching speedruns. I'm not as good as they are. But yeah, see? Sword awesome. No, land on the treasure chest! Oh, there's no treasure chest. I always get so excited. Wait. If that door is locked, where does this one go? It goes to the thing! Ugh. And we got the boss key. Flippin' amazing. Alrighty. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? Hmm. Alright, there's a fairy I need to get, but see. Watch my strategy for this really quickly. I know this seems crazy, but you need to walk through and out this really quickly, just so you, it's your last door that you walk through. Because. If I am correct, I don't know. It's through. It's somewhere along the edges. There it is. All right. Now there's a Deku flower, and I used to just hover and waste time with the Deku flower to scroll down to eventually get up there. But uh, what I like to do now is just follow. Oh God. Oh god, why is this happening to me? Alright, oh thank goodness. My uh, I thought I was about to lose this recording. Alright, there's a line right here. As long as you follow this line, you'll be able to make the jump. But I like to use the bunny hood for it anyway. I don't know if you have to, but I like to. So you just want to run, jump, and you're in there. And that is probably the most difficult fairy to get possibly in the game. And that's all the stray fairies. Whew. But now, what we want to do is we want to do that. Oh, remember, I remember I, s I said this earlier that this is a very good way to teleport. And we're back up here again. How awesome is that? <laughs> that is cheating out the bad programming of this game. I wouldn't call it bad programming. I'm just saying I'm just abusing it a little bit. Now there's still a room that we need to get. We already have the boss key. What do we need from that last room? What is in there? I don't even remember. All right. <sighs> Take your flower for the last time in the entire game. So the last taking flower in the entire game. I'm kidding. We have to use this a thousand more times. We'll have to use this all the way to the very end. But, I mean, who doesn't want to be a Deku? Dekus are awesome. Ah, that's where that takes us. Oh, that was a completely wasted moment.
Um, I'll meet you guys back. I'll meet you guys back up there. All right, guys, we're back. Um, this boss, I'm going to be having to fight multiple times throughout this uh throughout this game. So uh, for this first fight, I'm going to do something special for you guys. I'm not going to be a Goron. I'm not going to use the Goron at all. I'm going to fight him as a human, just because I think it's more fun. So, uh, yeah, so, but later on I will have to fight him, and I'll fight him as a Goron, and then I might find another way to fight him or something, and then I'll fight him like that also. Um, you have to have fire arrows to unfreeze this boss. I know people have tried unfreezing him with hot spring water. It doesn't work. It's impossible. So, have to have, I have to have the fire arrows. You can't skip the fire arrows. Mass mechanical monster got. And put on our bunny hood and wait, wait, what are we doing? We gotta switch to our regular arrows. I also have a fairy just in case. I picked it up at the beginning of this recording. Now right here, you'll automatically go into that and just... Did you already move? Ah, oh, gosh. That was a very unlucky. But he'll randomly be there and he won't be able to hit you for a really long time. And that's completely luck based on whenever he hits you or not. So now he's going to be coming around the corner when he comes. And you want to set down a bomb for him? Really? Did he just pass me up? He really just passed me up? He's not supposed to do that. He's supposed to run at me. Oh, God. Why do you have to be trouble? We'll be coming around the corner when he comes. God's coming around the corner when he comes. I like the little race things up there. He missed! God, you're making me a fool! Arr. Ah, this fight went so much better on my failed recordings. <laughs> I bet I can snipe that jar from here. Oh, there's Scott. Ah, that was the only time he actually hit me. Alright, I am going to show you guys a cool thing to do with Guy. But he keeps on missing me, so I'm going to get in the middle of the road here. Because we are not afraid of no Guy. Take a bomb, and want shield. And got goes down. No, you don't got. There we go. You can't get away from us, Gots. And Gots is out of control. He rams the wall, and he turns into boo. Oh, this conquers alive and reloaded all over again. And that just about wraps up Snowhead. We still have a much, a lot more stuff to do in this area, but that about does it for this temple. You know, we'll have to fight this boss a kajillion more times. And we got that mask! Ugh, we're gonna be entering a cutscene. I wasn't expecting on doing a recording today, honestly. I'm gonna take a sip off my Golden Peak tea. What exactly all are of all of you? What are they? Ugly as sin, that's what they are. Guardians? Guardians? No? So you're a protective gods. That's phenomenal. What is Tattle doing right there? Look at her, she's like going back and forth really fast. Uh, the protective gods of the temples. That's phenomenal. No, wait! Are you listening to me? Hey, wait! You're running away! Hurry up and go away so I can go play Gears of War before work. And this is why you don't unfreeze this guy. Because he's still frozen. <laughs> I love that. Everything unfreeze. Oh, wait, yeah, he unfreezed. There we go. He's alive! Oh. 
I'm sorry guys, I'm trying not to be racist, but all Gorons look the same. And now look, you don't need the Lens of Truth for some reason to be able to see the ladder. Because apparently, the Lens of Truth only works in the cold, who knows.